Speed limits frame expectations for drivers and other roadway users. Set speed limits provide a safe, consistent, and reasonable speed to protect drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists along the roadway. At the same time, speed limits can be a source of frustration and confusion. For example, not all drivers like to travel at the same speed, and some people may not understand why the speed limit changes on a particular road. A common question motorists ask is why the limit is set at a particular speed. Understanding the engineering principles and processes used to set speed limits and learning the terminology used to describe them are the first steps in reducing driver's frustration or confusion and encouraging compliance. What is included in an engineering speed study? Traffic volume. Roadway type, like an interstate, freeway, or city street. Roadway features like curves, hills, number of lanes. Roadway setting for example urban, rural, residential, woodland, and farmland. Site distances. Presence of on-street parking. Pedestrian or bicyclist activity. Crash history. Pavement condition. State legislatures establish statutory speed limits for specific types of roads like interstates, rural highways, urban streets, and these can vary from state to state. They are enforceable by law and are applicable even if the speed limit sign is not posted. Posted speed limits are those that are signed posted along the road and are enforceable by law. Some cities and counties will establish a blanket speed limit for roads in their jurisdictions. Those limits are generally posted at the city limits or county lines. The transitional speed zone is a section of roadway before a motorist enters a new community. Often a rural or small town. This is the area where drivers need to identify an upcoming change in roadway character and then complete the necessary speed reduction in preparation for entering the community. In Nevada, school zone speed limits can vary. School zones can be active any time of the year, including summer school and after school activities. School zones are areas of strict enforcement where fines can double for excessive speed. The Nevada rule for speed in work zones is to slow down. Most work zones do not post a specific speed. Exceeding the posted speed limit in work zones can lead to double fines. Use common sense in work zones to keep road workers safe. Advisory speeds are a non-regulatory speed posted for a small portion or isolated section of a roadway like a sharp curve or a freeway exit ramp to inform a driver of a safe driving speed. An advisory speed is not the legal speed limit only a cautionary travel speed. Variable speed limits are displayed on changeable message signs at locations where roadway conditions regularly require speeds to reduce more than 10 miles per hour below the posted speed limit. Variable speed limits are speed limits that change using dynamic sign messages based on the road, traffic, and weather conditions. The most common conditions that warrant variable speed limits are traffic congestion, road construction, weather-related situations, incident management. Trucks and other heavy commercial vehicles may have different speed limits. Some areas may have special speed limits posted for nighttime driving. The speed limit for a blind intersection in Nevada is 15 miles per hour. An intersection is considered blind. If there are no stop signs at any corner and you cannot see for 100 feet in either direction during the last 100 feet before crossing. If your view is blocked, move slowly forward until you can see. Near railroad tracks the speed limit is 15 miles per hour within 100 feet of a railroad crossing where you cannot see the tracks for 400 feet in both directions. You may drive faster than 15 miles per hour if the crossing is controlled by gates, a warning signal, or a flagman. 
Speed near animals. If you see a sign with a picture of an animal, be alert for possible animals in or near the roadway. If you see animals or livestock near the road, slow down and proceed with caution. Regardless of the posted speed limit, your speed should depend on the present road conditions. If bicyclists or pedestrians are present, whether it is raining, foggy, snowing, windy, or dusty. Traffic volume. Unfamiliar roads and curves. The road surface condition. It is evident that road speed cannot be determined solely by the posted speed limit. Numerous factors come into play, emphasizing the need to consider multiple elements when determining a safe speed for travel.